People are capturing and sharing more photos than ever before. But sometimes you want to share an image, but not all of its contents. There might be part of the image or a person in the image that you want to anonymize. So let me show you a couple of quick ways to do that using Photoshop. In this first example, we have a very visible license plate. So let's zoom in and take a look at what we're working with. Okay, the first thing we'll want to do is select that, and there are a lot of tools to do that. I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool. And we're just going to click around the area that we want to blur out. That looks good. Next thing I'll do is modify that selection a little bit. I want to feather that. Just a few pixels is okay. It'll look a little bit more natural. And probably the fastest way to do this is with a filter. If we come down to the pixelate mosaic filter, we can anonymize that pretty quickly. And that works fine for something like the license plate. If we want to touch it up a little, we could zoom in more and grab our blur brush and just work around the edge with that. It's not really practical for the whole license plate, but it's good for picking up a little detail we might have missed. So pixelate, great for a license plate. Let's look at a different trick for people. Okay, so common shot of the family. What I want to do in this case is blur out both of the kids in the shot. And for this, I'm going to use my elliptical marquee and just select one. I can move that around after I've selected it. And then I'm going to hold my shift key to drag another one. It doesn't have to be perfect. That'll work just fine. I do want to go with a more feathered selection for this one. So let's do something like eight pixels. And for this, we've got a lot of blur tools. I like to use lens blur. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And we can move our radius from none to the amount we need to anonymize these guys. Now, the trick with using lens blur is it's not quite so distracting. You can't tell who the people are, but they still look like people. Get that where I want it. That'll work just fine. Now, the last step here, let's zoom in real close. And you'll notice that the blurred region looks a little bit different in structure than the rest of it. Adding a little taste of noise makes a big difference. So let's bring in just a little bit of noise so it matches the structure of the rest of the image. All right, for this last example, if I zoom in on the background, I can see that there are some strangers back there. Truthfully, they're more distracting than anything. So at this point, I'd encourage you to look at your images and see, can I crop some information out? Can I darken it? In this case, maybe I want to use a selective blur. And to that point, you should check out our video on selective focus, where we deal with making an iris blur. So those are some really quick ways to anonymize your photos, and I hope that helps you share more of them online safely.